Can the user set up the solver to stop the analysis when mass scaling exceeds some certain value, like a certain percentage it goes over? Uh, well, no, it's not set up that way right now. But when you do the uh, when you use auto mass scaling, we actually uh, print out just before it starts to run at the very end of the data check run. We print out a, a little table for every part in the model that tells you what percentage of its mass was changed by the auto mass scale. And it actually prints a very strong warning if you have uh, exceeded 5% of the mass, increasing the mass in any part. Uh, and in particular, this example that's shown here on the screen right now, uh, it got a very uh, strong warning because it increased the mass in that part by uh, 1,680%. Uh, but obviously I could ignore that because it wasn't really uh, relevant considering the, the size of that only eight elements in the whole ship. So the best thing to do when you're using auto mass scaling is to do a data check run first and go to see what effect it had on all your parts and whether you really significantly affected any in any way that would make sense to you.